What is the Hibigen? Japan is certainly an interesting place. A small series of islands off of the coast of Asia that would go on to be ruled over by emperors who considered themselves to be gods, to then undergo over 200 years of isolation, only to be ended by American President Millard Fillmore, to then become a major combatant of the biggest war in human history, to their current position as the second greatest pop culture superpower. The land of the rising sun has certainly had its stories, but today I want to talk about one of the strangest creatures to walk the Asian archipelago, the mysterious monkey man known as the Hibigen. The Hibigen's name comes from how it is said to live on Japan's Mount Hiba. It is much, much smaller in stature than its North American counterpart, the Sasquatch, standing a mere 5 feet in height, but still weighing an impressive 180 pounds despite this. The creatures are covered in either reddish, brownish, or black hair and alternate between moving on two and four limbs. It's said to leave behind a stench similar to decomposing flesh, and is often curiously silent, not producing any vocalizations. Like all mysterious hominids around the world, there have been tracks reported stretching ten inches long and six inches across. They don't seem to display any fear of humans, and are extremely territorial pounding on their chests, and even going so far as charging at people that they see as encroaching on their land. Eyewitnesses, who have come close enough to look into their eyes, report seeing signs of intelligence in their stares. The first recorded sighting of the Hibba occurred in 1970, when a group of elementary age school children were picking berries on Mount Hibba, only to see the creature come crashing through the area that they were in. Later that same year in July, a truck driver reported an ape-like entity walking on two legs who ran across a field, a road, and then finally disappeared into the forest. Days later, a farmer claimed to have seen a primate emerge from long grass. He said the creature was the height of the average man, which at that time in Japan would have been about five and a half feet, give or take. Closing out the year in December, a set of the creature's tracks were found on Mount Hiba, measuring eight inches long. Following 1970, more sightings of the Hibigen would occur, including one instance of tracks being found that stretched on for nearly 1,000 feet. As the reports became more heavily publicized, locals grew frightened of the threat these creatures could pose, prompting the county to create a department for the sole purpose of dealing with the entity. This department's responsibilities included collecting eyewitness accounts, patrolling the area in search of the Hibigen, and even making cast footprints of tracks allegedly left by the creature at a construction site. Reports would continue over the years, mysteriously consistently spiking during the months of summer. Like most cryptids, no one's quite sure what the Hibigen is. Some local urban legends claim that due to Mount Hiba's proximity to Hiroshima, it is a mutated survivor of the atom bomb dropped there. But that's a little outlandish, even for me. On the Bigfoot sliding scale of ape to human, it definitely leans more heavily towards ape, with many witnesses describing the creature as acting like a gorilla, chest beating included. The small size, compared to other nations' mysterious primates, makes it seem that they are one of the less fantastical cryptids out there, but merely a yet-undiscovered animal waiting to be found.